In this video, we're going to cover hooking Power BI up to a AWS RDS instance of SQL Server. So, first off, we need to check a couple things. Well, we have to have a couple things done before Power BI can actually work with a AWS RDS. We need to validate that we have um, SQL Server running. And obviously, it can be one of four editions. There's numerous editions available in AWS. We're going to need credentials to the RDS instance, so we need a username and password to actually log in. And we need to have an endpoint so that we can connect to it. Um, and then obviously we need proper access. So first off, let's go in and check in our RDS and make sure that first off we have an instance running, that it is some version of SQL Server. Our main thing is we want to see and capture this endpoint here, and we want to uh, validate at least that it's publicly accessible. Now an easy way to test this is to go into uh, SQL Server Management Studio, actually connect up to that instance, and then execute a query. So we can see here in this given query we can return data. So we know that it's a valid connection. So now we'll open up Power BI and we're going to start by saying let's go and get some data. So in this example since it's SQL Server it's built into Power BI. We can go connect. Now we're going to get a dialog window here. So for the server, we're going to actually use our endpoint that we copied from here. Um, and then the database is optional. And we're going to have two uh, data connectivity modes um, that we could use. So import means that we're going to run a query and harvest that data and bring it down to the uh, client instance of Power BI that we're using. Or direct query means that we're going to iterate a query as we change things and bring the data down as we need it. We can also write SQL statements if we want, or we can use the wizard to actually connect. We'll do that now. So I'll click, click OK. I'll get a challenge here in a second for credentials. So I can use actually the database credentials, I could use Windows credentials, a Microsoft account. We're going to use database credentials because I set them up on the AWS RDS. And these are the credentials you set up when you created the RDS. Power BI will then show me any of the databases that are in the RDS and any tables. And this was a table I just queried a second ago and we'll say load. Once the data has been brought down, we can start using this data to do visualizations or whatnot inside of Power BI as we would with any other data source, as you can see here. So, fairly simplistic to connect to SQL Server instances inside of AWS RDS. One, a couple things to keep in mind when you're connecting to the RDS with SQL Server um, that we can connect um, directly through Power BI. We can do an import or direct connect. Again, you can write a SQL statement if you want, or you can use a wizard to actually grab data from all the. Some common issues that we will see with uh, connecting to an RDS, um, specifically SQL Server inside of AWS. Um, Normally that will fall into one of these four areas, that the, uh, the instance is not publicly accessible, so you haven't actually, when you created the RDS, you did not set it to be accessible. Um, you potentially have a security group that is blocking access from your IP uh, or blocking access to that uh, RDS. Uh, you might have something, a configuration inside of your network ACLs that is preventing you from actually seeing it. It could be a port, it could be IP related. Maybe your credentials are wrong, so your username and password are potentially uh, blocking you from actually connecting to the RDS. And lastly, uh, you may have some issues with your local firewall that are preventing you from connecting over a port or specifically to the RDS and AWS.